I like it. Okay, moving on. Okay, moving on. So, Power of the Community. Well, that's it is a really awesome community. What community? Community. Cutie. Community. Sorry. (laughs) This is not a goofy topic. No, no, it's not a goofy topic. What's great? I'll start out. I'll start, Scott. Okay. Okay. We always say don't Google it, land geek it, because our community has talked about such a wide array of, of topics that you could go into our Facebook group and you could type in anything, <coughs> excuse me, of interest relative to land, and you'd find something that would pop up. Multiple discussions, multiple so it's a, points of views, multiple answers. It's a it's a <laughs> bevy it's a bevy of resources, right? Bevy. Always got to outdo me on words. Bevy. Whoa. It's Excuse me while I Google that. Excuse me while I Google Bevy. Carry on, folks. <laughs> it's a community, right? I've met some of my, like, kind of my best friends in this whole business. It's hard to find people who like to talk about land. None of my friends do, right? My, like, my regular, we should give them a name, like, like non-magic people in Harry Potter, whatever they're <laughs> called. The Muggles, right? The Muggles. But, uh, you know, I mean, look, well, I get together with an accountability group. We all met in the Land Geek community. We literally booked, I booked flights today for the three of the three families to get together. We're going to rent an Airbnb and talk land for four days in June. That's going to be an incredible assemblage. Wow. It's going to be like that today. We're just going to throw down words we don't fully understand. Well, that was okay, a, that was a Let's go. synonym for Bevy, just so you all know. <laughs> Okay. Good so time. maybe I used the word incorrectly. That's quite possible. I do that sometimes. Wait, wait, where are you guys meeting, Matt? What, what? Well, you don't have to give specifics. But what middle of the country? Uh, uh, West coast, east coast? No, we just randomly picked um, Nashville. Somebody's like, "Hey, I've never been to Nashville," and I'm like, "Let me just, as long as it's an easy flight for all of us, we don't, we real, nobody really cared." And we got an Airbnb. It was like three hundred and eighty dollars a night. So it's got three sets of, you know, master bedrooms and a big rooftop deck and it's 700 bucks for each uh for each family for the week for, you know, for four nights or something. Whatever the math is on that. That's so it's awesome. great, yeah. It's like our own little our own little get together. It's going to be great. As long as it's not happening during the uh the uh third uh anniversary of Nightcap. Uh, what did we schedule that around that? Uh we did. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, I have priorities. <laughs> <laughs> Get a hold of yourself. So, so that's that awesome. that awesome that's, assemblage. Yeah, that that's pretty amazing for us if you think about it. Because not only yes. have you met, I mean, you you've connected with these people in a way that they are most likely going to be lifelong friends. But uh, you guys have your own little thing going on where you're going to go hang out with these people on that weekend and have a lot of fun and make personal connections. But you know what else you're going to do that weekend? The think Drink. tank. Oh, that, yeah. The think tank is going to make you money. But also honky-tonking. So there's that because well, we're in Nashville. But no, we're go- We're not going to like necessarily hang out. I mean, we're going to you know, work on the businesses and trade ideas and talk shop. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. That's all good, dude. So... And well, I, would say, I would just say it's it's a recent, you know, this community for for everybody watching who's new to this, you got to plug in, you got to plug into the hive mind, the hive mind, and do okay. exactly what Zeno said. You got to just scroll through the Land Geek group, uh, Land Geek, you know, search terms. Uh, you'll see every post that's ever been written about certain things. You're going to see name after name pop up that becomes familiar to you. Make a connection mm-hmm. with someone. Make a connection mm-hmm. with someone who says something that, I don't know, uh, that rings, that speaks to you. Uh, and you know, there are all sorts of all sorts of ways in this in this community to make a connection, uh, not only to learn from others but to hold each other accountable. You can make money with other people. You can fund deals. It's just a it's a really really great, really really great thing. I think we got going on. Well, it's a good community. It's hard because especially if you're new, your friends don't want to talk about raw land in Colorado. Yeah. They don't care. They think you're freaking crazy anyways. You don't really want to talk about it with them because you are afraid that they think that you're crazy. 
And then eventually, like, you don't care what they think because you're making money. <laughs> but they yeah. still don't want to talk about it with you. So, you know, there's a whole group of people. And that's, you know, if there's one thing that, that unites all people in the land business, they're all really happy to talk about land. Like, no other business I've ever met where, like, everyone would, would go out and have a cup of coffee with anybody if they could just talk shop for, you know, 45 minutes. So, yeah, make the connections. That's, I don't know. I think that's a big part of Land Geek, right? I mean, is, is sure. that whole side of it. My business would be nowhere without the people that I've met, you know, including you two monkeys, right? I mean, you know, especially you, Zeno. Um, so, yeah, it's a good, I mean, it's a real deal. I, I agree with you, though. This is some unique business where people who've been doing it for several years or more still love talking about it. Because yeah, of course. It, it, there's some excitement about it, you know. It, it's uh, it's it's very unique in that regard. You got some bunch of comments there. Yeah, we got Scotty questions Bosman. and comments coming in. So, uh, so anyway, that was a topic from last week we didn't get to. Uh, again, just encourage everybody who's watching to plug in. You know, I really do think I'll just end on this. I really do think this trickles down from the top, right? Um, Mark Podolsky is an authentic person. Uh, he is a brilliant guy. And what he has done uh, truly has trickled down to the rest of us. And, you know, he cares about how his students do, uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so, you know, you see that coming through. And I would encourage everybody who hasn't been to a boot camp, go to a boot camp. You're going to see that on a lot of different levels, not only with Mark, but the people who assist Mark and, and, uh, you know, our coaching clients, our flights with students, all that, uh, it, it really rings true. But, uh, when's the next flights, when's the next, uh, boot camp? Next boot camp is coming up April 23rd through the 25th. Okay. So not coming up. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. It's about, That's well, a month and a half away. So yeah, okay, I'll be here before there. you know it. Yeah. Um, April 23rd to the 25th zoom boot camp, And then hopefully in August, it's not finalized yet, but hopefully we're meeting. Uh, in person. Whoa. You think we could twist your arm, Forbes, to come meet your buddies for a weekend? Um, depending on the week in August, yeah, I would go. <laughs> I, I miss you guys, dude. I miss Mark. I miss Tate. I miss everybody. I miss you too, buddy. I love boot camp. You know that. I'm a boot camp junkie. You are. 